What's up everyone, this is Darkoon Killer with another Power Stone playthrough. So as you can see, I picked Jack for this particular playthrough. I know you heard the stories of Jack the Ripper and Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> but this particular Jack... Probably like the craziest character I could come across in Power Stone. And you'll probably see why. You could not be deal a great number of damage when he transforms he He's also quite resourceful. It's like 11 hits right now. And his first combo, uh, first super combo that he just performed. <laughs> oh my god. If used properly, you could by far cause like 14 or 15 or 16 hits in total. Next to Wang Tang's spirit bomb thing, spirit bomb attack. Which also which also in a way causes m more hits and does a lot of damage Well, almost barely missed that attack. <laughs> I 
Since Jack the Ripper is portrayed as an assassin, according to his moves, I can see why he could be able to perform a massive am amount of hits. Now for his second special attack, the one he transforms. Yeah, his second attack, he throws a bunch of swords at the opponent. This can only, this can also do a lot of number of hits and can cause a massive amount of damage Gunrock can deal can have you deal with a lot of damage in his attacks but he doesn't do as big a number of hits as Let's say Jack or Long Tom. Because he's, he's basically a power type. turn big. I guess when I was like turning big, I couldn't collect the power stones. That's not called finishing a fight with style, then I don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> so, on to the next fight. There will probably be a part two in this playthrough. Just like the rest of my Power Stone playthroughs. <sighs> probably because of this loading screen. The one you're seeing right now. So it's almost about to be like 10 minutes into the video. So I'll try to finish round one quickly. So I can't. That's the end part two.